Were you thinking about like everything going on out here when you were locked up, like music and all that? Were you were you itching to get back to that? Hell yeah. I always used to be like, like I used to tell niggas, like, I just can't wait to get back in the studio. I just can't wait to get back in the studio. Like, when you sitting in there, like, you don't really got nothing but time to just think. So I used to just always think about this, just think of this plan. And the plan started one way and it ended a different way. But in the end, it was a plan. And I just, I'm sticking to that plan. Like, I had a mad time to just perfect my plan and, like, critique my shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, make my shit the way I saw fit for me and the people around me, what I wanted. So I'm going to just stick to my shit. But, like, when I was in there, though, I just... Yeah, hell yeah. They used to always say, like, damn, I just missed the studio. And I miss these bitches. Like, <laughs> I miss these hoes. Like, white ones, I miss these bitches. They need to, like, sponsor a nigga. Like, right. How many of those do you think you would go through in a year? I'd be normally going through, like, two a day type shit. So, I have, like, whatever that is. I don't know. Time. Whatever. 365. So, that means you go through eight. 820, no, 830. That's what I think. I yeah. got that right? I think I did that right. 830? 830 pairs of Air Force Ones a year? Hell yeah. On a good on, on a good day. 730? Oh, yeah. well, I can almost math. That's not OD to you? <laughs> nah. These bitches go with everything, bro. Facts. Sometimes I be wearing the regular ones. Sometimes I wear the Supreme ones. My nigga Remy will tell you, I just trying to buy the Supreme ones. They ain't even have my size. I was mad as hell. Damn. Yeah, but... Where these bitches all the time. They what was uh, your plan? You were spending that. Yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> Yo. You got like a 10 step plan. <laughs> all right, so boom. This is my plan. When I got out, I was going to lock in the studio for like 30 days, 40 days, and just go crazy on whatever, however, whichever way it had to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And after them 30 days, I was going to break whatever music I had into whatever projects and drop, flood. And within them 30 days, I was going to be doing, I'm doing, I'm not going to be, I'm going to, you get what I'm saying? Yes, it's, it's about to happen. Yeah, like I'm doing music videos, I'm doing, I'm dropping in studio vlogs, I'm doing all interviews, I'm doing all type of shit. Like I'm just. Features. Everything, everything, I'm doing everything. Then after this show, I'm going to have more shows. I'm doing show after show after show. And everything is just going to be like a, a, like a, everything is going to be filmed. Like everything is, like I got mad shit filmed in a cut that ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, because in the end it's going to be all a big ass project. Like, like fuck like a, like a, like a first, first day out, like a. Like this is like a, I don't know, like a homecoming type of thing. Like, yeah. like all my shit. Like, and it's like a ninety day little plan. That shit. Bro, yeah. like this is technically like the first day out. Yeah, wow. technically. Technically, I was just telling niggas that like, nah, this one really feel like the real first day out. Like, I don't got my jury on or nothing, but like, I feel like this the real first day out. Like, I'm really like about to do like my plan really start like right now type shit. Like. So after you leave here, you locking in the studio? Hell yeah, most likely. Okay. That's good. Hell the beginning yeah. of the plan, 30 days. I guess we'll see you at the top of January and then after this. Yeah. Now I'm still going to be cracking out and all that. Like, I'm still going to be outside. I'm still, but I'm always going to be working. As you should. Like, the know. plan is always to work. Like, be productive. Stay productive. Word. Word.